Kasane, are you free to talk? Yes. What do you want to talk about today? Oh, not here. The kitchen is empty right now, so let's go there. Huh? All right, let's go. So, what's this about? It might be a touchy subject for you, since you are one of the design children made in Togetsu. Yes, what of it? How do you feel about your existence being the result of an experiment? How do I feel? I'm not sure how to answer that. Do you feel bad or conflicted about being an artificial existence? Well, it's something I learned just recently, so it honestly doesn't feel very real yet. Finding out my entire past was a lie definitely filled me with shock and anger. But it's not like my birth affects who I am now, so it hasn't been an issue. <laughs> You're steadfast. And that's precisely why I wanted to talk to you. What are you talking about? I... You don't have to force it. I can go to another room and wait for you to calm... Wait! I'm a dud. <sighs> I was born without powers, but they ran experiments on me when I was a child, which led to my gaining them. So while my situation is a little different from yours, I'm also an artificial psionic. It's something I've been struggling with for a while now. My power was given to me. It's not my own. Maybe it'll disappear one day, and I'll be nothing. The other day. That's why you asked what I'd do if I couldn't use my powers. Yes. I wanted to know how you felt since you were also created by an experiment. How do you think one can overcome their fear of possibly losing their powers one day? You're asking me because you want my frank opinion. Yes, that's right. Then I'll be honest with you. I don't understand why you're so worried. Is that because you're not a dud? No, I don't mean it like that. It's because I consider powers to be just one tool out of many. Just... one of many? If you can't use one, then just use another. There are other ways to fight besides powers. Even if I didn't have them, I'm sure I'd find another way to try to protect Naomi. Whether you have powers or not, your feelings won't change. What's important is not how you do it, but what you do. What you do? I see. <laughs> I should apologize. What are you talking about? I kept telling you before how similar you were to my brother, but I was wrong. My brother will greedily try to obtain powers to fulfill his own agenda, by force at times. You could say he is almost possessed by the powers. However, you don't care that much about them. If they're not available, you're flexible enough to choose a different method. I don't really understand, but you're basically saying you don't think Karin and I are similar anymore. Yes, because you're not. I was conflicted at first, but I'm glad I told you. It seems I was being a little too closed-minded. That might be similar to my brother. You've helped me feel a little better. Thank you. Don't mention it. Thank you for trusting me with your secret. You can talk to me anytime if you're ever struggling with something. Like your muscles. I don't think I'd ever be worried about my muscles, but I'll keep that in mind. Kasane, how long do you train each day? I think I train as much as necessary. Hmm, as far as I can see, you seem to have muscle. I'd like it if you allowed me to create a training program for you sometime. You and I think very differently. That's why I find you so interesting. I don't feel that way. Plus, you have an interesting way of looking at people. Oh, Kasane. Perfect. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh. Actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone. But the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. 
If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but I suppose I should humor him a bit. All right, I accept your thanks. <laughs> yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us, but we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. He has a good point, I'll give him that. It's true that I'm here thanks to my sister. Oh, right, I haven't told you yet. It's about Nagi. He's dead. What? Nagi? You mean that Nagi? What happened? He was subjected to the government's personality rehabilitation. And, well, he attacked me when he was ordered to take my brain. I thought there was something I could do for him, a way to bring him back. But I was too late. I couldn't save him. I can't even imagine how hard that must have been. For you and Nagi. He... He was a good guy. A really good guy. He didn't deserve that fate. He got roped into the government's conspiracy just because he knew me. Even if he weren't friends with you, I'd imagine Nagi would still find himself involved if he joined the OSF. But if he hadn't become friends with me, then the chance of this happening would have been much lower. It's my fault he lost his life. Nagi was his own person. He made his own choices in life. He wasn't an extra in yours. Even if his life came to a painful end, I think it's arrogant to say it was only because of you. Also, I don't know how he truly felt, but I'm guessing he wouldn't want his friendship with you denied. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go through life not being friends with him either. That's why I wanted to save him. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. He seems to have matured in some ways. And there's been so much going on lately. For both him and me. I have a long way to go. It's painfully obvious when I fight alongside you. I don't think we're that different. That actually might be true, but there's a whole lot I need to learn. 
You helped me see some parts of myself I couldn't see on my own. In any case, you really motivate me to get better. My impression of you changed a bit. Maybe I understand you better. I don't know what your idea of me was, but yes, I suppose we understand each other a little better than before. Hanabi, about before. I said some insensitive things. It's okay. I'm sorry I just left like that. I've been thinking since then. I finally understand why you care about Yuito so much. So I want to help make your dream come true. What? What do you mean? I mean, you like Yuito. Whoa, whoa, let's talk outside, okay? Huh? Sure, I don't mind where we talk. Listen, you're mistaken. I don't like Yuito like that. If you don't like him, do you hate him? I, I don't hate him. I just don't like him as a man. Don't say things like that. I didn't mean anything by it. I also looked into some objective data just in case. Objective data? For example, the temperature of your flames is 10% hotter when you fight alongside Yuito. No way. Also, your gaze during missions. Outside of battle with others, you look at him 80% of the time. Oh! Okay, that's enough. I admit it. So you're saying you do like him? Yeah? I see. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I want to help you. Thanks. Honestly, I thought you liked Yuito too at first. You guessed wrong. The one who liked him wasn't me. It was my sister. Naomi? Yes. You look just like her when you talk about him. That's how I realized. Oh. If you like him, you should tell him. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know what could happen if you wait. I want you to tell him how you feel. For Naomi. Oh, but I just can't. Why are you in such a hurry? We're OSF. If you don't tell him all you can, you may never get a chance. Kasane? I understand that you're serious about this, but I can't say it yet. Why? Because I don't think I'm good enough for him yet. Not as an OSF soldier, or as a person. You said it before, it's immature to depend on people. I said that because I didn't know you liked him. No. You were right. You nailed it. That's why I got angry. You and Yuito both have your goals and ideals, but I've just been following him. I'm a member of the OSF, but I've never considered what it is I fight for. I can't stay like this. I need to grow up and get strong enough to stand on my own. What's important is that I become the kind of person who doesn't just depend on people, but can protect and support them when they need it. Oh, okay. I can understand that. I thought the same thing about Naomi. <sighs> I won't force you to tell him, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. Friends really are important. You're welcome. It's rare for me to talk about a friend's love life. That seems pretty normal to me. Is something funny? Nothing's funny. I just think it's very interesting. It sounds like you think it's funny. <sighs> I can't help myself from charging forward in battle. I know how much you're covering for me and my reckless tendencies. It's fine. Sometimes it makes it easier to fight when you're out in front like that. Well, I guess that's nice to know. I'll just have to be careful that I don't overdo it from now on. I'm going to 
to be someone you can count on. I'm always counting on you. And you can always count on me. Free now? Yes. What is it? There's something I want to ask you. Come with me. Why did you bring me all the way here? Because nobody will overhear us. Look at this. That's the analysis from a recent fight. Don't worry about the details. I want you to look at the other kill rate. Your numbers have been improving lately. You must be seeing results from your training. Yeah. But you're doing even better than me. Not by much. It's all within the margin of error. Listen, that small difference you're talking about is something I've never been able to make up for. It doesn't make sense to me that no matter how hard I study and work, I still can't beat you. It's time I swallow my pride and ask you, what kind of secret training are you doing? Secret training? I'm not doing anything like that. No. There has to be some sort of secret strategy you're using. I told you I'm not doing anything like that. If you watch me, you can see that I'm not doing anything special. Are you saying that this is just a difference in our natural abilities? How? If that's true, then it doesn't matter what I do. I'll never be able to catch up to you. I don't really understand. Is there a reason you need to catch up to me? I should just be some baggage the rest of my life? I don't think so. I hate to admit it, but everyone in this platoon are top talents, even Kagero. I'm the only one that's different. I'm nothing compared to the rest of you. I have to work myself to the bone if I'm even gonna keep up. And it's paying off. I don't see you as baggage. Even after looking at the data? No matter how hard I train, this is the reality. If this is my limit, then I can't stay in this platoon! Shiden, what should I do once I catch up to him? I don't know how to tell him how I feel. Kasane? Shiden just rushed out of here. Yes, I'm sorry. It seems like I've upset him again. You don't need to apologize. I know you must have tried communicating with him. You two have such different upbringings and perspectives. You have to assume you'll have disagreements. That means he'll never understand where I'm coming from. Right. What do you want him to do? What do you mean? I want him to continue fighting with us as a team. Have you ever tried telling him? Why don't you catch up to him and say just that? I have a feeling he might get angry again, but I haven't thought of a better way to reach out to him. Okay, I'll go after him. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Shiden is heading towards Seiran. Haruka, how do you know his location? I'm the team's operator. He just rushed out of the hideout, so I figured you two got into another fight. Good call. That's exactly what happened. Thank you for telling me. Good luck. I hope it goes well. Why does it always come down to an argument with Shiden? I don't mean to make him mad. Shiden isn't the most well-mannered of people, but he does seem particularly temperamental around you. He's just overly sensitive when it comes to you. He's a good boy under all that. I'm sure you two will become friends someday.
at a nearby resource reading. There you are. Kasane? Why did you come after me? Get lost! Where are you going? <sighs> I understand that you're troubled. I can see how discouraging it is to work hard and not see results. But running away just because you couldn't become stronger than someone? That's not the kind of person you are. You just overestimated me. This is what I'm really like. I'm not even that good. But my pride makes me constantly worry about everyone around me. I put on a facade because I'm scared I'm inferior to everyone else. Don't take this the wrong way, but why are you so obsessed with being better than everyone? How useful an individual is depends on circumstances. Have you ever been unable to control your own abilities? You mean my power? Yeah. When I was young, I caused an accident because of it. Nobody got hurt, but I was just lucky. The next time it happens, someone might get hurt. Worst case scenario, people might even die. I put on these insulation gloves and trained hard to control my power. But I can't get rid of that nagging feeling. Even back when I was still a kid, I've never been able to overcome my own weakness. So you feel inadequate? <sighs> I've never found you lacking. Our platoon needs your composure, analytic skills, and judgment. Please, come back to us. I want to keep fighting alongside you. I... An other warning. Kasane, Shiden. Others have been confirmed inside Seiron City. Others? There was no forecast. Sometimes the forecasts are wrong. Look, there are still citizens inside who weren't able to evacuate in time. Let's go. We have to save them. Yeah. Haruka, send us the other's location. That's... right near my home. What? You didn't know either, Haruka? Is there a suppression force heading there now? There's a patrol in the area. They should prioritize evacuating the nearby civilians. My family should have already evacuated by now. We should head to where they appeared. You must be worried about your family. I don't need your concern. A member of the OSF should prioritize saving the citizens over their own family. You can drop the act. If you lose them without doing anything, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> okay, I'll go! Yes, let's hurry. Wait, you're coming with me? Obviously. Hurry up or I'm leaving you behind. Hey! Why are you taking the lead? I'll support you from here. You two be careful. What's going on? How are there still this many others? The reports were wrong. There aren't even suppression forces. Let's go help. Wait, will we be able to hold back that many others? Shouldn't we wait for reinforcements? If we don't act now, they'll start attacking people. We have to slow them down here. Against this many? That's suicide! Who else is going to save them? This isn't a question about if we can do it. We have to. Damn it. I know that. Captain Seto would say the same thing. There's no guarantee the civilians will be able to get away before the reinforcements arrive. My parents might... So we're the only ones who can stop them here. Captain Seto, give me strength. Let's go. You better pull your own weight. Right back at you. Let's do this.
okay? Being wet makes it hard to move. The enemy is attacking with electricity. You'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. This is pretty good. Give it to me, Arashi. I'll support you. Useless. Check me.
him. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Break it. It's up to you. Leave it to me. <laughs> Not yet. How could I? Watch yourself. I'm off. Good decision. The shell is broken. Attack now. Using the Sheeta. It's over. That's all of them. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Who do you think I am? I was careful not to let any of them get away. I'm pretty sure we managed to stop them all here. Haruka, this is Shiden. We exterminated the others that appeared at our current location. Are there any more sightings? I was just about to contact you. We've confirmed that all others in Seiron have been exterminated. You two really pulled off quite the feat. Good job. There's a rescue team headed your way. All the civilians have been accounted for at the evacuation site. Zero casualties. That's good news, Shiden. Thank goodness. Why don't you go see your family? No. I just needed to know they're okay. Then let's head back to the hideout. Sorry. You did well out there and made some good calls. You really pulled your weight. Enough with the flattery. I was too busy fighting to think about anything else. That just shows how much you were able to focus. Neither of us had the time to think about anything. I guess so. But this wasn't an official deployment. There won't be any data to evaluate. Does that upset you? No. I feel accomplished. I don't even regret putting on Captain Seto's mask. If that's how you feel then that's worth more than any analysis data. You're right. This is the first time I've ever felt that there's more to an encounter than stats. I think I'll stay on the team for a little while longer. You can stay as long as you want. <laughs> it's only as long as I feel I have something to gain. This platoon isn't as bad as I thought. I'm glad to hear you say that. Thanks. I'm not saying you're suited to be a leader or anything. As much as I hate to admit it, there's no one else that could do it. You're babbling so much I can't follow. What's your point? I... I mean... You're doing a good job. For now, at least. Spend enough time with anyone, and it doesn't matter how much you don't get along. You somehow know what they're thinking, right? I never said I disliked you, but I do agree that we've come to know each other. <laughs>